Alright, folks. And we're back to the epic listen to the soundtrack. Europa Universalis 4 and the Paradox Mega Campaign. With Portugal, or as some viewers have called um Swole Tuchel. I mean, we're not that swole. Look at the size of these boys, our rivals. Granted, we do have a few uh you know, dependencies and uh, whatnot, but straight out territory, Poland and uh, Chang are no slouches. And I just realized, huh. Hmm, we might want to take a look at the Pacific Islands, but our colonization of Alaska hmm, might be affected by separation of territory for Cascadia. Uh, in fact, given the amount of different territories and uh, colonies, colonial governments we uh, control. Let's take a quick rundown of um, how the world uh, looks. So, prestige, of course. We are the most prestigious power of all. None shall pass. Anatolia is pretty close, but eh, there are allies. Of course, there's a few challengers. In income, however, our power is supreme. Though, oh, they're making a bundle through trade and whatnot. We might want to conquer Galata or win a few wars against them and get some of that sweet dosh. We could also focus more on developing our territory. Manpower, again, incomparable. Even if you put together two closest rivals, we can still handle them. And that's not even counting uh, our colonial governments. So, Tex, we're a bit behind on the very best of the best here. Hmm. Fire projection again, I think. Yeah, we're far and uh, head and shoulders ahead of everyone else. In terms of income, yeah, some of our colonies are pretty good as well. Right. Just our allies. That makes a pretty good swath. Yeah. All right. Governments we're not much interested in. Another score, though. Yeah, seeing how we progress through the ages is uh, interesting. Chang was more powerful than uh, we were early on. But that soon changed. Even though Kalyani, yeah, gave us a run for our money for a good while. Into the Age of Reformation. But we've broken their backs, as it were, with a, a few wars now. And we have spread our religion far and wide. Look at that. And we, oh, we have not maintained Lisbon as the uh, shining beacon of civilization. Really, Ulmit? We'll have to do something about that. Maybe uh, put on a development edict in the Lisbon area or something and pump it up.
Yeah, I don't like that. Military leaders we haven't worried too much about, but we have a good selection as usual. Well, ahead of everyone else. We have... Oh my. I've lost a lot of people to attrition. Less than our enemies in proportion, so we make better use of our army limits and movement. But still, that's a lot of people lost needlessly. Well, to build an empire. Right. In terms of development, uh, in terms of development, our colonies, yeah, look a bit in the red. Our European territories could do better. The Holy Roman Empire area, because it's composed of such tiny little duchies and uh, bishoprics and whatnot. They are much more province development focused than we manage to be uh, overall. Because, you know, we have to develop the whole planet, essentially. Uh, we're not doing so poorly in terms of manpower. We've focused on that for a long while. And it's only a matter of time because, uh, because, um, until we, um, yeah, pretty much wipe out these heretics. Though, yeah, we managed to stave off a reformed Holy Roman Emperor. So that's something. Though we have not managed to uh, secure our election there. And I think it's going to be a difficult sell to actually get in there. <sighs> One aspect that I was reminded of, and that I'm aware of, but because it was an added option, not of uh, the first version of the game, is, yeah, promotion for other visors, if they are of our cultures. Though, uh, yeah, we currently, hmm, don't have, uh, actually, this guy could be good. If it were uh, one of our cultures. But they're not. We could upgrade him. So yeah, let's get him in. To max level here. So what we really need is admin points more than diplo points. Not an accepted culture, that's Japanese. Persian called Pelagius de Oliveira. Now that's an unusual Persian name. As in, it's not Persian at all, that's Portuguese. And this guy is not a Catholic, but is Andalusian. Yeah, 
probably recently got the guy, even though he is not an accepted culture. And we are pretty much... Yeah, actually, they're not that far off. But it's really going to be more of an Irish-Greek choice, I think, for the sixth culture. Maybe we should do that, in fact. Irish or Greek? Stout beer or feta cheese? Maybe feta cheese and stout beer. A feta flute. Sounds disgusting, but who knows? I'm undecided. There's no room for expansion in terms of Irish culture because, you know, we own the entire Ireland already. And there is some space, especially since Dirachion will soon... Uh, where is it? Are we not... Oh, we're still not integrating it? Oh no, we have to wait until 1712. But, anyway, when we do that, we're gonna have a lot more Greek... Yeah, a lot more Greek... culture provinces and even in Sicily and we have some so yeah let's do that that'll increase our income and manpower and everything in Greek provinces. We would also like to wipe out Toulouse. Just take over the entirety of France. Set up our natural borders on the Rhine and uh, the Alps. Alright. Let's move things along. Let's have our armies Okay, so they're at war. A couple of these. No mercenary companies in the Indies. Improvement is done over there. Let's make sure we don't get excommunicated. Alliance breaking. The following allies no longer consider your alliance worth keeping, and it will end it soon. Oh. They do not trust us, I see. But we gave you provinces. Why don't you trust us? We have some favors to spend with them, so we might want to do that. We 
Och vem benar? Keep converting. Keep converting. Let's go for the most difficult ones first. While we have the missionary uh, boost. And while I would like to invest in new ideas. Texts are coming up in not that long. And we're really short on admin points. Boy, okay. I think we're going to need to cycle some of these guys out. Get some new options in. A call to arms? Ugh, what is Angria doing now? The Angria and Nordgau are nationalist war against Nordgau. This is where they have started. The other guys are allied with Sertland, Sri Leagues, Udine, Sakala, and Labus. All right, you do the fighting, I'll just watch. Ah, canal is delayed again. Brutal Guinea, that's good. Foreign quarter of Antakya. Hmm. Better contract trade with our country. That would give us more trade power. That will decrease development cost and local goods production will be increased. But yeah, these are territories we do not control directly, so I'd rather have the trade power and have Ikmin's opinion of us just be poor for a while. It'll recover. Huh, so we have governing capacity. Yeah, we have quite a bit of governing capacity to use up. But that would mean more admin points to core those. And we would be coring what? That maybe? Parts of Greece? Because of the uh, cultural integration? And then France? Probably France. We should, yeah, not that I'm thinking about it, we should also turn part of India into. Can, yeah, improve any of that. We could add a policy. Settler chance. We don't really want that. Well, it's not that it's bad, but probably gonna change it soon enough for something else. And either of these would be much better. Yeah. So, we do want to complete... Five states owned in the India subregion have at least one trade. Yeah. Five states owned in the India superregion. Do we have to own them as in? 
actually making them states, probably. So that's probably where our admin points are going to go. Alright, we can work with that at a later point. Any, uh, ugh, no. Okay, this guy's production efficiency dude, which is not what I want. National tax modifier. Okay, that's fine, but that will not help us convert these territories any faster. Though they are being converted quite quickly anyway because of all the other bonuses. So maybe just an income boost would more than make up for that. And tax will be better than production, right? Uh, it's about even, though... Any percentage increase will be more significant for taxation rather than production. So that, I think, will be more of a boost than 10% production boost. All right, let's do that. Treasure of fleets, one core is done. And we have a free diplomat. All right. Did our armies get stuck somewhere? Oh, they're still moving. Back. Should be drilling. at port right now. Ah, I'd rather have them at port automatically and not forget uh, than lose them uh, if I do forget, which is more likely. Our colonial, yeah, our colonial allies are going to move in here. Oh. Okay. Well, you want to rebel? Gonna have to fight. Tear some spice. I don't think we want to increase our tariff value for Mexico because they're already uh, a bit high on the liberty desire. Yeah. So, well, we got some diplo points. That's fine. Ah, we got there before the end of the month. Ah, still one. Okay. Again, same... Well, we already have that, so... Huh, we're getting both bonuses now. 
Why is it getting delayed? One of the colonies finished, that means, yeah, we have a free colonist now. All right. So how's the uh, income looking for our colonial... ...vassals here, so... Why are they not sending us any money? What? normal Ah, oh, you have plenty of income so why why aren't we getting any It's not like they don't have any tariffs. Or is it? Oh yeah, they have... Oh, we brought the tariffs down to zero. I was looking at the liberty desire. Yeah, we brought the tariffs down to zero. Really? Hmm, maybe we should take the opportunity to raise it at least to 5% so we get something off of them. Okay, but Cascadia, they have... ...135 development. So they are growing... They should be growing, theoretically. Yeah, they are colonizing. Alright, so if they are colonizing, we should probably focus on places we haven't completely colonized that still have spots open to colonize. Like right here. Bengkuku. Okay. I see what you're doing. I see that and raise you. We do have a transport. Yeah, we have the fleet right here. So the fleet is coming along and carrying us over. That's going to be fine. Angria won the war. That's what we were expecting. We have plenty of free diplomats. Right, so. Any of our colonies don't like us much. Yeah, quite a few. Okay, California. And Cascadia. And no Portugal. Hmm. Yeah, that is quickly taken care of. 
at World of the Creek Federation. I guess you could stay at... What's the highest supply limit province here? You're standing on it. Okay. Well, I guess you could stay there in that case. You could come back to... Hmm. One of these armies should... Yeah, you should go to Malacca because you are the Malaccan army. So, good to Singapore. With the Oriental Armada. You... Oh, you're the African Armada. Then maybe you should go back to Africa. And... Oh, yeah. Take the African... That's the African army. Yeah, the Guinea uh, army. Okay. We're organizing our forces and our armies. Oh, they're stuck. Some got stuck. Spread them around a bit. Probably losing a lot of to us. Yeah, 5% to attrition. That's terrible. Okay. Not paying attention. As consequences. And... Alright. Because of the war. They got stuck because of the war there. Corinthian army. We... Yeah, we have one there. Maybe take the... Take it on Naples. Maybe to Barcelona. You go to Paris. We you stay in Genoa. Oh, that's actually the hmm, Asian army over here. Go to Bordeaux, why not? Enjoy the wine. You, however, hmm, stay over here in Milan, maybe? Next war is probably going to be... Hmm. Against Paramara Sistan. Allied with Paramaras, which is not good. If we were to declare war on them, they... Yeah, they would come to war. Barely, but they would. And we do want that. Desperately. Maybe we shouldn't have moved over all, our, all of our armies west again. Thinking that might have been a mistake. <laughs> uh, 
We'll have to see. Where the creek here? Predator trade competition is good. No, that's fine. in Corsica. Okay, so instead of going to Sicily, go to Corsica right now. Are you missing? Not really. Who's missing 3,000 calorie? No army I can see. Oh, again? They're always starting wars. And, oh, this includes war... With Toulouse. Ha. We might actually have to fight here. Okay. do you have here? Three. So. You attack Limousin. You come from the south to Huergue. And instead of going to Paris and have a good time, go to Orléans. And burn a few uh, a few Jeans. Some of the cavalry to siege that. And ideally, you would want to split off minimum amount of infantry and all of the alt artillery for a siege, so you'd lose least amount of troops and attrition as possible. Uh, that's a bit of a, a chore for me, so I I tend to not do that. that fort. Hmm. Actually, you should attack Bourbonnais. You should stay put, and you should attack Auvergne. Then we're sieging all other forts except Bress. Well, we can fix that. Come over the Alps, please. Max occupied Limousin. Do the same to Kercy. Big army coming. Ah oh, man, you're 
not recovered from drilling crap. Okay, they have a few armies moving down, which is not good. Yeah, stop the drilling, come to Montpellier. The Enlightenment, the last century, has been a, has seen rationalism and empiricism gaining an ever-increasing popularity among the great minds of the age. In letters, publications, or coffee houses, kings, scientists, philosophers, and literateurs are discussing the merits of tolerance, the scientific method, oh yes, and the spreading of peanut butter enlightenment ideals to all humanity. From universities of, or courts of enlightened monarchs, expeditions are being sent to measure, catalog, weigh, and map the world so that we can better understand the laws that govern the things around us. Very, very good. Others discuss the laws that govern society and try to reach an understanding of the rights of man. In Warsaw, or Warszawa, if that's the correct pronunciation in Polish, I have no idea, a colossal undertaking has begun in the assembly of a complete encyclopedia of all knowledge. The light of reason has now been lit, and many will not rest until it has been brought to all corners of the earth. Yes at the end of a musket. This changes everything! Ah, I want you to recover morale before attacking. And, oh, we're losing innovativeness because we have not researched the latest technology. So, covered way. An outer ditch became a key area for the siege. When in doubt, dig ditches. And when you have a ditches, you build some more ditches and dig more ditches around the ditches. For more of the ditches to be protected by other ditches that have ditches around them protecting the ditches. I don't know if you've uh, got that ditches are good to defend. If attacking troops gain control of the Glassy, then the bastions would be lost. The ditch became the first line of defense for a fort. Access to this ditch and ensuring it kept providing protection to defending troops became a key part of fortification design. Of course it did. It's a ditch. Archipelago Frigate. Special version of the frigate originally developed for operations in the Baltic. It kept a broadside of a frigate, but had a shallow draft and oars, giving it greater maneuverability in the shallow oh in shallow waters while sacrificing sea keeping in open oceans. Hmm. So for use in enclosed seas. But not really, because it's not a galley type ship. Or is it? Oh, yes, oh, yes, it is. It's a galley type ship. Okay, I see. So it's a conversion of a frigate to galley, I see, with oars. Good. Good, good, good. How long before we get to uh, end of the year? Uh, all right. We can make do. We can make do. So we have the latest. Yeah, there's no new unit types. There is a new ship type 
for inland sea fleets. I don't know why they're not doing it together. But sure. Protect Genoa, please. And you can drill. I don't have any active military duty for you right now. You should get on the transports. And the African fleet should get to Africa. You should be there quickly enough. You can drill. Thank you. Still have uh, nearly all of... Uh, Oceania to colonize. Okay, siege is going well in France. Will Angria give us any territory? We have claims on these. I have claims on some. But they're not likely to grant us these territories. Unfortunately, that's how AI allies tend to do things. Screw you over. That's how. But all right. So, a few minor wars in Europe. We are, well, again, flush with cash. And should hmm, start preparing war against Paramara Sistan, in fact. We're at max manpower in... Not that long. A year or two. So that's... Peak manpower is when we should strike. Hmm. I'm thinking maybe we should not be moving the army away from India. are probably gonna need it when uh, Paramaras comes knocking. Hmm. And you? Who are you supposed to be? Uh... The Asian fleet, okay. Can we reinforce the Asian armada then? Age of Absolutism is ending. Yeah. We need to prepare war. Who do we have a not going truce with still? Everyone. <laughs> an ongoing truce with everyone. <laughs> this is who. Wow. Um We're often at war. Is our truce with Great Britain end? Six years, that's a lot. 
Before that, yeah, before that, I, I think we should be at work with Palomar Assistant to capture those straits there. Even if we were allied, it would not be easy to get these guys. We declare war with imperialism Cassus Belli. They're allied with Yemen. Hmm, okay. So might not want to do that just yet. So yeah, I think definitely war with Paramara Sistan is the next one. That, however, is going to be next time. Until then.